Jonathan Gottschall, The Professor in the Cage, Why Men Fight and Why We Like to Watch. Step into the world of human conflict, competition, and violence through the lens of Jonathan Gottschall's The Professor in the Cage, Why Men Fight and Why We Like to Watch. This book summary offers you a captivating glimpse into the evolution of human fighting over time, and how we have managed to control our instincts by codifying violence. Discover how the world of ritualized combat, such as the practice in the popular sport of mixed martial arts MMA, helps establish a winner while minimizing the risk of severe injuries. Understand the role gender plays in our competitive and violent behaviors, and learn how the foundations of these behaviors are deeply rooted in our biology. The Evolution of Fighting Our species has been fighting since the beginning of human history, but the reasons and ways we fight have evolved. In the past, people fought for honor and brutally killed each other with stone axes and swords. Over time, society codified violence, with duels being a prime example, wherein opponents agreed on time and place, weapons and rules. Presently, the highly popular sport of mixed martial arts is another example of highly codified fighting. Although there are barely any rules during the actual combat, the act of fighting is limited to a specific time and place, and closely monitored by a referee. This evolution in fighting demonstrates how humans have learned to control their violent urges. The Universality of Bullying Bullying is a universal issue that transcends age and cultural boundaries, with the use of violence being an effective tool for bullies to establish social status. This is why many people turn to MMA, a form of self-defense that levels the playing field for those looking to stand up to a bully. Ritualized combat, which aims to establish a winner while minimizing serious injury, is a practice that runs deep in our animal ancestry and remains prevalent in human society. However, gender plays a significant role in discussions surrounding violence, and the following parts of the book will explore this relationship further. The Interplay of Gender, Competition, and Violence The evolution of humans has led to a disparity in reproductive capabilities, with men producing billions of sperm compared to the limited number of eggs women produce. Consequently, men are in constant competition for females, resulting in the prevalence of violence among young unmarried men. This striving for dominance and honor instilled in young boys encourages them to take more risks and engage in violent actions. However, differences in aggressiveness between the genders go beyond physical violence. Women tend to exhibit indirect aggression towards their rivals by attacking their reputation or spreading rumors. These behaviors reinforce traditional concepts surrounding gender roles. The underlying message is that while our conceptions of gender roles have evolved, gender differences in competitiveness and violence still exist, and are worth acknowledging and understanding. Boys versus Girls, The Differences in Playing Styles Boys tend to play competitive games, while girls prefer to play cooperatively. This fundamental difference in play style creates a divide between the sexes at a young age. While girls do participate in competitive sports, they prioritize cooperation and bonding through sports over winning. This difference even extends to professional sports, where male athletes prioritize competition more than their female counterparts. Men seek to win in every form of conflict, from physical fights to verbal arguments, leading to peculiar rituals like rap battles. These rituals serve a vital function in establishing hierarchy and social roles while limiting violence to maintain a hierarchically organized society. The Warlike Nature of Sports Sports are ritualized forms of warfare, developed to help prepare warriors for battle and settle conflicts. Even today, the connection between sports and war remains prevalent in the language and behavior of players and fans. Many sports were originally developed as exercises to hone fighting skills, such as medieval tournaments and Native American lacrosse. Fans dress in their team's colors, sing battle songs, and demand full effort from players, all of which have a historic connection to war. While sports can help groups fight for supremacy in a non-violent manner than full-blown war, 
sometimes the sport itself can lead to violence, as seen in the 1790 conflict between the Creeks and Choctaws after a game of lacrosse. Overall, sports continue to serve as a way for people to channel their warlike instincts and connect with ancient traditions of competition and conflict. Our Enduring Fascination with Violence Despite being more civilized than our ancestors, we have not lost our hunger for violence as entertainment. From the Roman Colosseum to modern-day books, movies, and sports such as MMA fights, violence remains central to popular culture. People are drawn to violence because it shows us the most exciting and appalling sides of humanity. Moreover, violence and sex are often intertwined as both are considered thrilling and exciting. Though we have replaced real suffering with fictionalized violence, our enduring fascination with violence shows no signs of diminishing. The Brutal World of MMA MMA, or Mixed Martial Arts, is a combat sport that allows the different martial arts to prove their respective claims. It started because of a desire to recreate the old-fashioned sports used to prepare for war. In MMA, the strongest usually prevails, and the best fighter dominates. Unlike other sports where the underdog can win, MMA is closer to reality. It's the closest thing to a real, no-holds-barred street fight, and it stands out from most Asian martial arts traditions because of its lack of a religious component. MMA is like a laboratory where different martial arts are tested and combined into the ultimate, most effective way of fighting. Upon concluding this book summary of The Professor in the Cage, readers will have gained a fresh perspective on human conflict and the deeply entrenched connection between violence and competition in our species. Through exploring the history and rationale behind the evolution of duels and codifying violence, as well as the universal presence of bullies, we come to better understand human nature. Gottschall further enlightens us on the influence of gender and biological differences in the way men and women engage in competition and aggression. Finally, in examining the raw and realistic world of MMA, the author provides an intriguing depiction of the physical and emotional appeal of violence in our society, 